Ladies and gentlemen, we have a, a guy here, a well-known guy here in Toronto. You, you know him on Flemington Park, but before we move forward and I introduce him, um, I'm very happy that he's here and can be able to articulate that his past and his life in terms of the soccer here in Toronto and I'm learning a lot about his background now in Trinidad. So he will tell you exactly where he's at today and we will realize now how important these interviews are and um, I don't think I want to take up much more of his time because his time is very precious right now. So without further ado, I want to Ask him to introduce himself and give his background from where he came. You're speaking with Saki Morgan, a double amputee. That's what it's called. And I didn't go to any war. It was because of diabetes. And how are you doing? How are you doing? I'm so doing now. I'm able to jump time on ladders and things like that, you know, but... Life still goes on. I have my music playing and I could watch TV and, and I have a roof over my head. And I pray, <laughs> I pray morning and, and night too. That's it. First, formerly, my name was Ralph Morgan. I represented teams like Colts. And Maple in Trinidad. Um, I also played with a, a team called Woodville. That was my beginnings in, 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 in football, basically. And they played in the NAFL, or the, or the NFL. <laughs> NFL, second division at the time. Okay, and then I was going to, 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 to join Dynamo's at the time. One guy saw me at the uh, practicing and, and told me, um, he saw me, so what are you doing up here? I said, well, I plan to join this. So he said, no, 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 no. Um, I take it down by court. So I went down to court um, because Dynamo's was basically a second division team in the uh, in the PUSFL league. And um, uh, people saw me and saw my ability. And the next thing they had indicated, because I believe I was unemployed at the time, he offered me what is, was known then as a scholarship, which in terms just meant that the only thing I remember it, it covered actually was not paying the monthly um, Sub subscription that these clubs used to, to have. So I, I spent, um, I believe it was 60, 1967 and 1968 with Court. Um, I left Colts um, close to the end of 60, um, 60 uh, or six, 67. 67, I'm sorry. I was in Colts in 66 and 67. And then in 60, I left Colts in 67. I, on a, I guess, we had parted ways because I didn't like um, the way they went about doing um, business. I was left off of a BDV final and the oval, like, again, it was supposed to be against um, the defense force. The reason why I was left off, I think, <laughs> they named... Twelve people on a sheet of paper. It didn't, didn't number or anything. So I and I told 
told everybody, you know, I was included. Um, it was a knockout competition in, in, in Port of Spain League. And so, people had paid the money to come to see me play in the overall. And um, when they, 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 they determined what 11 would represent, I was the, I was the odd man out. <laughs> So, <laughs> so they asked back for the money then? No, no, no. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> so, so I didn't have that. It's just that people was wondering, where's that key, you know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, yeah, because, uh, you know, I represented the team all, t- all through the PDV was a knockout um, competition in the, along with the, the, the um, FA Trophy and the POSFL, uh, and the POSFL League shape. Um, so, I left on those terms, and um, I used to be practicing with Red Cummins, a name that is very well known in, in, in Trinidad football circles, and, and, and I use it in football, because that's what I, I will always refer to it as. Okay. They would have read, and we uh, it was really practicing and stuff. When they had gotten like their scholarship and stuff to go to Fatima, you know, we were all part of that. Um, I played with those players in in a, in a, in a, basically on evenings. That's what it was. And then um, so after I had uh, left post, one evening. A gentleman invited me to, to come and play with Maple. So from there I, I, I went over. I remember I remember in particular um, my introduction to the then captain of Maple, which was Sadly Joseph. And Sadly tried to confirm me if um, I was the guy who was hitting over the balls and then when they had played course and I explained, yeah, because, um... So, so he saw your specialized cross ball that we saw in the park? Well, basically, yeah. It was just a continuation, yeah. Yeah, all right, okay. I, I was actually taught... Initially, when I went to course, I, they asked me what position I was interested in playing. And I said, midfield. Right? And, and um, uh, Leon Monroe was then the coach of Colts and a former Trinidad football um, representative. He said, no, 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 you, you, you do smart to be playing midfield. Mm-hmm. So, so suggested that I play right wing. Well, um, because we're not doing your video, um, Saki, I just have to tell the public, Saki is all but um, five foot, and I'll ask him to put on the rest of the Listen, YouTube. five feet, four and a half. Short people always clean the half inch. Eh? All right. <laughs> so, uh, so there you go. Five feet, four and a half, yes. All right. And um, so, um, the person I credited with being able to how to kick a corner and how to hit balls over was um, so, uh, somebody who most people of that period would have known as Indian Mikey. Yeah, yeah, from Belmont. Right, he was a short Indian guy. He was, his name was Michael Kemkaran. So he you get that from Coles then? Um, so, so you get that from Coles? Or huh? Dynamo's? Dynamo's or Coles? My... No, Coles. All right. Coles. Because I, 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 so I went and, 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 and joined Maple. And um, I remember um, uh, uh, Ali Young was, as people then would have known, he was part of great footballers, Eddie Ali Young and Andy Ali Young. So, there was a time, uh, well, it was knowledge, but um, if he saw you look interesting, he would. He used to be up at new practices all the time. So he would pull you aside and show you a few 
minor points to the game. He was allowed to do that without, um, you know, mm-hmm. without any people saying. Uh, and I, I, I read um, uh, an, an interview with um, Eddie Joseph, deceased, and he had mentioned something about too. That, um, but far along, yes, he still still wouldn't give me too far from Mr. Fana anyway. So let me ask you, let me ask you, Saki, what position, seeing that you're calling the, the uh, Allianz and stuff, uh, what position you play for Maple? Right wing. All right, okay. So wh- what happened to Clevy? Don't tell me you put Clevy on the bench. So okay, I can explain that situation. All right. And I would like to explain it actually because when I first joined Maple, I, it wasn't as though I was elected immediately. Um. And one day, um, maybe I had, uh, you know, the older supporters, people that would always be there, whether, you know, during practice and all sorts of things. And one day, an, an elderly man said to me, you know why I'm not making the team? He told me that Cleve Caracciolo, who was then the right wing, elected right wing, was... This is what this man told me. I mean, I was not aware of this. That Cleve Caracciolo is Eli Joseph's brother-in-law. That's why he, he was, he was sort, of, sort of agitated about it. Because mm-hmm. he saw, you know, he, he was there in practice. You know, these people followed their, their favorite teams around. I mean, there were teams that we played against. Um, I remember we played against... Uh, uh, a team used to come to Trinidad, I guess, called um, 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 Air, Air, Air Martinique or something like that. They were called. They used to come from Martinique. Everywhere they used to come and play against Maple, uh, a set of friendly things. So, so um, that gentleman, uh, you know, again, I just went there playing football and, 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 and keeping myself good shape and everything and 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 maybe football their style was a little bit different but i remember the rap felt guys like jimmy Springer. um oh so you were there when jimmy came through okay jimmy springer okay then butler jo- was practicing that same year but he didn't stay all of a sudden I see he was he, he then was showing up and next thing I know he was playing with King Park. That's Cambodia. Yeah. Yeah. So but yes, I was there with um Jimmy Springer. So I now know I now know the um, Yeah, I now know the area you're talking about there. Yeah. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. So How long you stayed there? I we stayed with Maple for two years. Um any victory, any cha- championship, any... Yes, we, yeah, man, didn't... Okay, the Gooden Chisholm was a, was, a, was a competition that was played between the, 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 the champions of the USFL and SASL. And it, from year to year, it would, I think it would, um, it would change from what this year in Port of Spain, the next minute it down south. And the, the year that I was there, we went and played down south. I think, I always remember it had one of the church brothers who was serving as a goalkeeper. I think it was Shell at the time that we had played against. Down at, um, um, I think it was Mahaika. They call my hike over, I think that's what that was. Um, so we stayed down there. And I was able to, to see Trinidad actually because maybe it was a team that used to travel along. Yeah, because I end up joining Maple from the juvenile time, but I end up reverting back to Colts. So let me ask you, um, did we cover your schooling? Um, I can't recall us covering your schooling. Um well, basically, yeah, I went to Trinity College um, from 1960 to 1964. Because actually, the, the, that was the first time they had changed the, the, the school year in Trinidad. Because 
to spin it down the school year. School year in, in, started in January. There were three terms. So it would be January to sometime, around Easter time, where they would close for two weeks. Then we'd go back to school again in that time and we would, what we would call August holiday. And then the last term, or we used to refer to them as terms, the last term would be from September to December. So we were actually doing the full year, I remember that. Right. Yeah, because I was trying to explain that to somebody, that that person was younger than the night. So I didn't think he, he was, he was, he had me thinking that he didn't, he couldn't buy it. <laughs> no, you know, yeah, you know, yeah. when I, that last year of my school in, 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 in Trinity College, they, they, they basically cut the year. So okay. we, we, we really have to stop schooling in, in, in like, Okay, hmm. so so now where we get the schooling in um, Saki, yes. and you had the two years with um, Maple, did you leave to come away from Maple? No, or? no, I left Maple. I, it, it was a sort of falling out in a way because they were going to go to uh, a trip to Barbados <laughs> and um, it. <laughs> They do have a, what they do is put a clip, like a certain type of person thing, kind of situation, you know what I mean? Yeah. So I wasn't really part of a clip. I didn't come from no known family, sort of thing. I bet you in I was just invited. Come to so so let me right let me clarify as somebody who passed through Maple to make sure we get in the same thing. We know that was something that was out there, but what you saying is you lived it. You saying you lived it? Um, is that what you saying? Okay. What happened? Yeah. Well, what happened is, is this. They had, okay. I really, I, uh, to me, it was sort of last minute. They decided to take me with them on the tour to Barbados. We were supposed to go to Barbados. So the main group left, and then I was supposed to meet Jamuti in town, and we would travel to the airport together. Right? Mm -hmm. And um, there's a guy named Sonny Thompson who was a, a big name in, in, in sports and things like that. I think he was connected to one of the um, industrial banks home in China. I think we were supposed to pick up the tickets there and then go, go proceed to the airport. However, I, uh, again, I came from a very poor family and I didn't have what I would call traveling clothes. So I just didn't show up. And I didn't have a phone at my home to call anybody to let them know that I wouldn't be coming. So, the next thing I know is when we started back to practice, I went up on, on Savannah and, and thing, but suddenly Joseph was giving me a kind of cold look kind of thing, you know? Yeah. And, and I admit it was a kind of, well, you see, at that age, I was in my early 20s, I, I wasn't thinking it like, you know, it won't look bad or thing. You, you don't think of consideration when you're that age, actually. It is just going to begin and think, well, oh, you know, the time has gone by. So, I saw um, Sadly was acting towards me. And then, you know, you know the certain things. Um, you don't know if you might be playing this time and all of that. Eventually, I, I would chalk it up that they couldn't meet up to the maple standards, even having to travel and stuff. Because I guess that was easy for the Jabu to take on these guys and stuff, right. and yeah, it wasn't that easy to. Guys too, you so, know? so are you leading that up to say that is one of the reasons things didn't work out after that? Well, yeah, that's why. Well, that's why. Yeah, that's why. Um, yes, they were again. You know, family and them. them I couldn't understand being unmanly, let's put it that way. Because I was too young to 
So, um, so Saki, Saki, let me ask you this way then. Well, even at this point in time, you already admitted to seeing it a certain way and, and neglecting a certain way. But let me put it from a club side. Did they ever come to you and tell you what they had a problem with? No, no, no. Well, no, that's, that's, no. Not, that's not good. No. Well, maybe they were operating at that time, but that's not the way things are supposed to operate. Especially right. for a structural club like Maple. Exactly. So what happened after that? So you move on from that, Maple? No, I, I went, funny enough, went back, I went to, somebody asked me about coming and joining Dynamos. So Dynamos was still in, in um, doing second division, second division and stuff like that. And I went to Dynamos, I was, uh, they elected me as captain of Dynamos. And I was with Dynamos. What year that was that king? Okay, I served with Dynamos for, I would say about two years. I left in 72, the first of October. So when I left, Dynamos was leading in the second division. And they had eventually won the, um, the next year, as we would call it. And I, well, guys, when I was no problem, I was leaving uh, things. And they told me, okay, well, don't worry, we're going to keep your um, medal for you and all of that. Which, I, <laughs> up to this day, I've never... <laughs> Somebody didn't do the job to you. Um, so when you came here then, in 72, yeah, that's... from October 72, with you coming into Canada, did you get involved in the soccer, you can call it football, but you know in North America, when you say football, the population still have to know if it's the CFL or the NFL. So for all intents and purposes, that's why we call it soccer here. You know that's the only reason why. It's the same game, right? So okay. I'm asking you now, when you seeing that the public now going to find out all the rich background in the, in the football you had in, in Trinidad, how were you feeling coming with that type of energy and how that transpired, let's say, going into 73, is like, um, what did you do? I, I didn't play, I didn't play football for two years, basically. Until somebody told me that they had this football league going on up at, up at, um, Oakwood and Sinclair. So, That's how I knew that it had. I knew about TND, as I explained to you earlier. Well, but I never even went to watch a game in TND. I wasn't interested. And why is that? Because you you played high level ball in No, no, no. The reason being, like I said to you, that um I, I hear over here guys speaking about people spitting on you and, and things like that. And my game of football didn't never involve spitting. It might it I, I I could tell you about a referee jumping on a bike to blow up a game <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I, th I think I saw the same incident, so we'll leave that alone. I think I was there when that happened. So let me let me get back here. Um, okay, okay, so okay. you didn't you didn't do the um you didn't do the TND thing for for obviously personal reasons and and you're entitled okay. to that. So did you go to the Oakwood thing and and how did you find that and who did you play for? Well, because I knew the guys as I were managed. Associate myself with the play with them, and it wasn't as though I had trained to go there. But I went and, and I ran onto the field and stuff like that with, with these guys, and um, they realized I could play the game. And people, I remember people coming up to me and saying, Oh, you know, you're good, you're good, da da da. But so you... that's how I stayed with that team. That team. For information purposes, could you tell us the name of the team and if you have a name of the guys you you play no, for? Yeah, because the team again was called Grassford, and um, there were guys like Ronnie, Julius, um, Arthur Cato, uh I don't remember too many of the, the other team. Well, uh, those are two very main names, so uh, you good? Yes. Yeah. And how you found the team, uh, they, they were impressed with you and I can tell you, I can see why. Because I kind of know that team, so um, 
how you assess the team and, and what was it like and, and moving yeah, forward? Uh, some of the guys, you know, they're, 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 some, like, like in most teams, there are some of the guys, uh, they, could, they could run behind a ball, so to speak. And some of the guys, you know, the, the, the final um, points of the game. So, but don't forget, that these guys were just... It would, it would appear to me that guys just wanted to have some fun on, on a, a Sunday, basically. Yeah, right. That's what it, that was it was. Right. Now, I can tell you something. So, the following year, the following year, which would have been, I believe, 76. Six. Yes. Um, that's when the thing shifted to Fleming and Park. No. Correct. It was only by coincidence that I even started to play with exhibitors because what happened, I wasn't a part of exhibitors previous year. And um, again, it was just a fun thing. Guys, was, it wasn't appear uh, to be no study practice. Maybe they, they used to like, like pick a long ball down, down on Close Avenue. Which is where uh, in in Parkdale. So all I knew that I heard that okay, it was like thing like a wrong now when somebody mentioned to me the guys start to practice and they practice down on Close Avenue. So when I went down Close Avenue, the people that I ran into was not members of Gasset, so to speak. And I would say that grass had probably folded at that point in time. Yeah. So I went there and I started to do serious um, training and stuff. Now, some some guys, when they re realized that um, it was getting a little more serious, some of them, and, you know, they kind of half at this type of thing, but it's, I, I, what a, a, a memorable incident happened. When we went up to... Um, Flemingdon? Flemingdon Park, and we were looking to select a team, and certain guys who we had played the year before, I mean, I, I didn't really know the whole function. Functionality of 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 um exhibitors. exhibitors. Yeah. Okay. So started to say because I started to, to, to basically train and coach the team and stuff. The guys allowed me that they were well read Some of the guys have known Mike and people like that have known I had the kind of football I played home. So anyway And and Mike was the organizer of the team or what Mike yes, was like the were, Change his name, wasn't he Lloyd? Is Lloyd you're talking oh, about? Lloyd, yeah, Lloyd Ben, yeah. Lloyd, oh, okay. Yeah, everybody knows him as Moja. Anyway, yeah. Because uh, uh, even at that time, I think even um, that's his present um, something. Um, that's his, um, Zander. Carlton Zander. Yeah, I know Zander, yeah. Right, right. Okay. So anyway, um, so in selecting the team, everybody, some guys who, Thought that they, they would just get picked just by 
showing up on a Sunday, um, it was, uh, uh, then was a selected. So one person in particular went to Jersey. <laughs> okay. Yes, yeah, well, because he was mad, he didn't, he didn't get sick. But the thing had changed. Um, and along the way, I would say even with them, um, exhibit a circle. I had made some enemies because I was serious about the training and the, the practices. Yeah, football. And, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was serious about football anyway. Yeah, but I, when I met you, it was kind of. But I'm now seeing the background, is, we're now getting the background, so I can see why. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so men, sometimes they. So because, as you say, the term goes, I have come in last, so to speak. So you hit the park, your selection, you reach the first selection now, so those selections for different teams would vary. So what do you look at the competition like in the park and what the park competition meant to you in terms of team selection and who you can give in to and who you, can, you have to get your strongest team for? So and now, so now, ladies and gentlemen, we see why exhibitors end up coming hard. Yeah, uh, Saki yeah. was the household name. I we didn't really even know tra Saki was training the team, but now yeah. we're in it behind the scenes. I, I point something out to you. When Jolly was here, he spent about two years here, no. and um, one day we had a, we had a game, and. You know there's that big Thailand thing that's let's say on just the outside of half the the half of the the center line of the football field. The hydro yeah, the hydro the, the, the hydro the hydro the hydro thing. The hydro thing, right? Right. Okay. When Dali was up here, a day he pulled me aside and he told me he says he says that he, but I just, I just come out here to watch you play football and, you know, this, it can be partying and playing, foot, playing football the next day and all of that. Okay. Now, it's two different perspectives here. Yeah. I am only, I only see football now as, while I was training hard and then on Saturday night, I am going to be in a party. That's how it was. That's how it was. I'm telling you straight up. I I've been around everything, huh? So, uh, and so when I, I could say, even though I haven't been in contact with them, I remember the last time we spoke actually when I was home. But I'm saying, and he and I sit down and talk serious things, even though life things in general, kind of thing. Everybody is not, you know, it, it, it bothered me. He has a holy holy professional view of the game. He called me aside and, and I don't think about it, but you know something? I really slow down with my one last game on Sunday, especially if it's one of the earlier games. I would not go to party the night before. That had changed my thing. You understand? Mm -hmm. So, but, and eventually I, I said, I, I told him, I said, I told the guys, you know what? Um, what was it? Um, I asked them first. I said, um, what was it? If all it would be interested, I, I, I could get everybody to come and, and coach the team and thing and thing. So, yeah, mostly everybody was against it and, and he put his all in, in it and it, and with did, you know, with did for these things. Everybody, footballers or some guys who I know, you know, couldn't match up. And he came and he, he was not interested in no selection of the team. Didn't want 
to be part of that kind of thing. And also, uh, but yeah, now we have a thing about, you have to have them practice, at least, at least, two, at least twice to the three weeks there, in order to be able to be selected. And, well, he didn't show up a week, and I think we were going to play your team. Okay? Mm-hmm. I've been to tell you So, then guys said, as when, um, <laughs> the demon, the adult demon, and the, the thing is, that guy is, you know, they, they thought they know anything about football and all kinds of things. They want to select him. They, they, they hadn't even been part of a nucleus of what they call a football team back home there. I'm looking forward from you, Saki, is I want to find out what you thought of the competition in the league and what you thought of the yeah, league. It, uh, yes, it, uh, it, it was a very competitive league. It was a very competitive league. It had really good players in the league. I remember when they even you know, had the, they had brought in a juvenile kind of... Um, yeah, under 23. Well, you had, you had Rudy, you had Rudy, you had Leo, those were, those were big players on the park. You remember Leo? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Leo had speed. Gali was around the exhibitors team. Only for one season, really, he forgot. He used to be there, but he wasn't attached to nobody. Um, as I explained, that, that's what he said. That's what he said. But Saki, uh, you said to me um, earlier on that um, you didn't just play for exhibitors, even besides Tempo, you said you played for another team in the Fleming and League. Oh, oh the, one year, the one year that um, exhibitors didn't, didn't come out, I went into Tempo and I played for Tempo. Yeah. And really, that, Willie always used to be behind me to come and play with the team. Who? Willie. This is Willie. Okay. Remember Willie used to coach, um, well, Tagler used to coach and thing. Um, you remember the coach? He's, he's, he's Kwame, Kwame Tagler. Yes, yeah, yeah. Right, remember, right, remember him, right? Yeah. He used to be like, boy, he said, a boy, come and play with my team, no man. But that was, that was the plan, TND was to be good. And I used to be thinking, you know, you know what, before I go for the two, you see them same words and the same manner I'm talking about? The fire. You remember Govi used to coach fire gun? Yeah, Tony Govi, yes. Right. He used to, because I used to, I used to you know, he's a, a guy used to ride bike all over some kind of thing. And every time you see me, to boy, come and play with my cinema. You're something just like, you're something just like him. Yeah. 
machine right now at the time, but. <laughs> yeah, something just like Govi. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's how he, he kind of is as a soft, soft tone kind of guy, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Govi, yeah, me and Govi, he come with the news that come and watch the RCMD professionals. Because, yeah, anyway, we, we, we had in professionals. We had a lunch, John. That, is that is that the yeah that's the Movina team that's the Movina team you're talking about now, right? Right, yes. That we only used to enter the professionals only used to enter the knockout part of Movina. You understand? Yeah. Right. So that is where we used to get teams like us, um uh, Jacksonville and them. They they used to play all through the league. They used to come out during the knockout period. So we send them. Right. And, and, and so who some of the men that was on the pro who is some of the men was on the professional team? Again, uh, Lance John. He used to stay for him. He, yeah, he saved. He saved for Colts. He saved. He was my keeper. Okay, Lance John. Um. Denny, Denny, who Denny? Henry Denny. Yeah, Henry. Yeah, I know Henry Denny. Um, the other, the other kid. Um, Felix. Felix. And Felix. Yeah, who was the police? Yeah. Right. Also, Richard Culture. Um. Okay. Okay. I know. Again, I picture with the team. That that's another like metal team. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because you call two Denny's and four, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like was well, I tell you, two calls. One used to play with the army. That's all very tall one. Used to play. Okay. Yes. Yes. Well, well, Saki, let me come from a cultural point of view now. Irie tournament. What you uh, yes, what I you thought what you thought of the yeah, Irish tournament? I participated in it a couple of years actually. Exhibitors. In the Irish tournament? Yeah. Oh yeah. What 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 feel? Right in right in um um Lampard. Okay. Yeah 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 yeah. And what you thought of that tournament? Second man in this interview mentioned that. Richard Chinapu, I see Richard Chinapu playing with New York Cosmos. With, with, uh, talking about fans back in Bowen. And I used to watch, I used to just sit back and watch and say, this guy could play football. He was just right connected man. He was in that. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. I want to ask you. Exhibitors came back out. You think it was your obligation to go back with exhibitors, or what? What was happening you, in you Hawks? Know, you know how you, you, you might say a man is a is a dresser, or he's a stars, or he's a this or that. Mm -hmm. I had the exhibitors. Correct. Yeah. All right. But I wasn't going to leave exhibitors, exhibitors to go and stay with your other team. Got it. I would like to make this. This yep. is where my heart is. Okay, listen to this. Mm -hmm. Politics, whether it's American politics, Canadian politics, listen. I ain't call myself liberal, I ain't call myself conservative, I ain't call myself Democrat, I ain't calling myself conservative, I ain't calling myself PNM, and I ain't calling myself UNC. What? I have all stars. <laughs> Understand yeah, that's that's good. That's good. That's good. Right. I like that one. Um, yeah, go ahead. Hold on. Um, 
we determined you when you went back to exhibitors. Yeah. I noticed exhibitors did not finish the league when the league continue. And I didn't see you play in the league after exhibitors. Did you stop playing once exhibitors left the league? So that's the that's the all stars analogy then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, yeah, and yeah, and yeah. now and now could you, although you stopped, we, did you come back and watch the league or that was it? You lost interest. Yeah, yeah, the time I would come up there, but then I think it's it's start to have a, a kind of. I understand. Uh, yeah, yeah, I understand. The league was part of my being at that point in time, and listen. I used to, listen, I used to at 11 o'clock or so I would leave home, come up the road, and set up the net. I used, I used to have the net. I used to have the net. And OB too? I used to have the net. OB? I don't know about OB, but you come after. Because I had a, I don't know, driving a white, a plastic. But then why is one out like that? Because after I send the car, I send the car to the road I I didn't sell it. I said take over the the payment and the car and thing thing thing. You understand? Mm -hmm. But I used to put up the net and thing, and not only that, I used to RFP too. I remember your RFP. Right. But me and you even do the RFP or something together. Yes, yes, I remember your RFP. Right. Beginning of the league that no, you would... No, no, that was at Permanent Park. Okay, and you remember how long you did them next thing for? Or uh, one season? Um, it could have been about two seasons, but yeah. But after, yes, um, other oh. people are thinking to do it because sometimes, you know... Yeah, I because know. Obi, I remember yeah. Obi doing the nets at one time too. Well, well, okay, yeah. Because, because he was living close to the field. So Saki, did you have an official position in the league at any time? Stop being the treasurer. No. All right. Do you remember who who was the treasurer after you? No. Okay. No. But I know Dolphus was still involved. Right, right. Dolphus, to, Dolphus, to, yeah. To a certain extent, but I don't know to, to what extent. Saki, um, again, thank you. Um, make well, my I day. Would, yeah, I would